Hello, good evening, and happy Tuesday, you wonderful, wonderful people. Already woke, spit a joke, barely spoke, rarely smoke, steady folks when properly provoked, mirror broke. Hair share strawberry morning, dawn and more important, spawning, torn in, poor men sworn in, corners and switching, position, auditioning, morticians, sword in a vision, ignoring prison, ignoramuses and listing sound dumb. It's been a while, isn't it? That's what she said. Obviously, I've been promising a lot of people that I'd be getting this video up as soon as possible. False promises that I may add. Not the first time I have um, falsely promised to get something up for someone. So I remember listening to his, um, his ring walk and I was like, it's a bit gutted really, because I really like that song. But you can't obviously both come out at the same time. Awkward moment this. I didn't have as many fans as he did. You've got no friends! But I was embracing the crowd nonetheless. So I'm being warned by the ref. Look, you got a dodgy barnet. You've got facial hair that looks like you shouldn't be allowed near schools, but let's get ready to rumble. I was very much up for this fight, I'll be completely honest with you. I was at a good weight, or at least I felt comfortable at the weight that I was at. No excuses whatsoever, I put all the preparation into the fight itself. This fight was with 12 ounce gloves, may I add, as well, so it was pretty heavy. Another thing I like as well is both of us not really into the whole starey down contest. Just want to crack on and bang. Ref does the, uh, the how high of the sea howl at me. Don't know why he did that, probably because of the haircut. So I'm quite a twitchy kind of guy, not talking about the Tourette's. So I quite like to sort of like move around as much as possible. The one thing I will say this guy had incredible of is he's got a fantastic jab. He's quite an unorthodox fighter from what I see as well. He likes to fight with his hands low and just sort of explode into those punches. And one thing I kept making a massive mistake of, and you'll see this in the fight, is I constantly... As I was stalking him down, I was sort of leaning into it a little bit, and I believe he did clock onto that a bit at one point as well. Dictating the fight there, oh, got him into a corner, unloaded a little bit on him, nothing sexual about that. And again, I was just trying to test his reaction, but as I said, it was quite hard to get on the inside of him, um, strictly because he just had a fantastic jab. So obviously I had to do all I can to sort of twitch inwards. I found I was probably just walking into a lot of punches, if I'm completely honest with you. And he had one thing in his arsenal, arsenal I said, not arse, that was a lot, of like quite tough to deal with. As I was leaning in, he was clocking that right, he right hook in. And there was a couple of times where he really did catch me. There was one in particular that he catches me, that yeah, bloody hell, did I feel it. Closing him down, hitting that jab out. There's a punch with it, there you go, there it is. Dive, VAR mate, VAR. That was too hard! So someone's gonna get hurt if you kick it that hard. I, I mean, that was just too hard, correct? But no, in all seriousness, definitely felt that punch. It was a good punch from him. Uh, shit defense from me, if I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Another thing as well, where I was leaning in and I tilted my head away, that did clock me in the back of the head. Now, I'm not complaining. He's not gonna intentionally punch me in the back of the head. That's not what it's all about there at all. But what I am saying is where I did get caught there, I just went straight down. Didn't feel the punch in the face. I just sort of felt a little bit buzzed from that. Shout out to Donnie, my uh, corner man. He really chilled me out in that sort of, um, that exchange there as well, I thought. If I'd have fought the same way I fought on my third fight, I believe I would have won. But unfortunately, I sort of, after I got caught there, I sort of felt the pressure on and I felt like I had to really go into him. Again, fell down a bit there. I was pissed off at myself at this point because I did actually slip. I mean, it was a good punch as well. Like, you know, I'm not gonna say he didn't actually give a good shot, but at the same token, I just sort of panicked a little bit after that. So I had to get in nice and close and really get stuck in. But that just led to my head just leaning into the places he wanted it to. And he was just catching me with that check right hook every single time. I think he read the game really well. He ain't been fighting for very long. You know what I mean? This is his first fight. And to be honest with you, I thought he gave a good account of himself. And I think if he was to um, take up boxing you know, more often, I think he'd be a cracking boxer. But again, there was a couple of times I did catch him with a couple of shots, which I was quite chuffed with. But my biggest problem was I was trying to just get in too close to him. Do you know what I mean? I should have just stayed on the outside, just boxed and moved, you know? Again, he's just waiting for that right hand every single time. And me just literally just looking to see when it's going to get thrown. To be fair, the defence, I can't complain too much. I am blocking a lot of shots with my face. Maybe I should start an OnlyFans, the amount of shots I've taken the face on video here. At this rate, he's winning this fight, you know? He's got me with a little bit better shots um, on occasions. I'm getting the blocks in. I'll tell you one thing I will say, the light of the glove... <sighs> It is harder to defend uh, shots. I found a lot of shots were just slipping in through my guard. Again, at this point, I could tell he was tired. I was shattered as well, to be honest with you. You know, you can train all your life sort of thing. Um, there's a couple of body shots he got me with that I certainly did feel as well. Um, and one thing I'll definitely say as well, this is the heaviest I've fought at. 
I was 79 kilos there. Bear in mind in my third fight, I was 71 kilos. This guy was 80 kilos. When he actually started to fight, uh, started training for this fight, he was 84. So he's come down a lot and he's, you know, he's in good shape. He's shredded. The weight difference possibly did have a little bit of an effect on myself. When I went into the fight, I felt tiptoe when I was fighting. I felt great. Um, you know, he was just quite a strong guy, wasn't he? Um, but I will say one thing, when I do fight again, if I fight out like a weight category, I'll feel a lot confident because even though, yeah, I did take a shot and did get put down, I still got back up and just cracked on and uh, I weren't afraid to get stuck in, if you like. Like a virgin at his first disco, wasn't afraid to get stuck in. So third and final round, what I found funny about that one, it was, it was like the shittiest high five ever. We both missed each other. Good accuracy, to be fair. And at this point, all he's doing now, he's just fighting on instinct. Apologies if I keep moving, my legs are a bit cramped down here. Giggity. It's like being back at church again, I'm on my knees watching myself take blows to the face. Don't even ask me to respond to that. At this point, obviously, I'm just showing a bit of love. The guy was an absolute sound geezer, do you know what I mean? He's the sort of geezer to go out for a pint with or hug in a boxing ring, as you say. And there's a couple of shots I look back on now that I really could have done with um, taking to him. So the right uppercut certainly wasn't utilised as much as it really should have been. There's a couple of times he dipped down low where he was really open to that shot. And unfortunately, I just didn't land it. So I'm coming into that last minute now. And I know I've got to take this fight to him. There's no point in me backing off and being boxing and moving because at the end of the day, I knew I was losing this fight at this point. I mean, to be fair to you, looking back at this fight, I thought I lost a lot worse than the way it looks. Maybe you guys can be the judge of that. But I really did feel like I got obliterated in there. And then obviously looking it back, I don't feel I did too bad. No, I weren't too shabby. It's a loss is a loss at the end of the day. Not everybody likes to lose, I certainly don't. The only time I actually liked losing was when I was 18, and I'll leave that to your imagination, what I lost there. Don't think too long and hard about it though, whatever you do. So last 30 seconds again, I knew I had to take the fight to him. So I was really trying to unload as much as I can on him. I tried getting him stuck into a corner, but obviously he was just evading every single time. And at this point as well, where I am tired, I am trying to get stuck in, I'm trying to fight on the inside. Realistically again, I should just stuck on the outside. And then this is the point where I really should be unloading a lot more. And I started, you know, just throwing a few couple more combinations. Right towards the end, he catches me with a check right hook. And personally, I think that just dictated it for me. I'm not going to sit here and argue like, oh, I didn't deserve to lose. I did deserve to lose. It wasn't a good enough performance. He was the better opponent on the night. Um, and I just fluffed a lot of chances. Not in the way you'd think. But other than, other than that, it was a great fight. I really miss... Um, sparring and so forth as well it's only been a couple of weeks but um obviously since that fight i've since actually moved counties um i am looking for another boxing gym as well of course so anybody will take me um i wanted to have a big shout out to um joe my coach as well who's been training me for two years and has built my confidence up to the level where i feel almost completely unstoppable unless it's a right hook from this guy in the face no but all jokes aside it's been an absolute pleasure boxing at Honey's Boxing. It's one of the best gyms in Essex, in my personal opinion. Not just based on the fact that the coaches there really 100% know what they're talking about, know what they're doing, and they can put on great events such as this. Not just the fact that the community itself is absolutely fantastic, and it's helped me thrive in times where I didn't feel like I could thrive. So despite the loss, despite taking another L, quite frankly, I'm happy with how things have gone, and I'm looking forward to my future within boxing, even if it is just white collar. I thoroughly enjoyed this fight. I thoroughly enjoyed my time at Joe's. And we come again. So without further ado, thank you very much for watching, guys. You will see me again very soon as well. I will be uploading more frequently. Or is he going to go? There we go. And well done, my guy, for winning the fight. I hope to see him again in the ring soon. If he's fighting again in October, that would be fantastic because, quite frankly, he smashed it as well as my head a couple of times. Hopefully, this doesn't get me cancelled. But if it does, I'll see you on the other side for another video. All the best. God bless. Pace. Stone star like Obama, pull a car like old drama. Civil liberties, these little titties, abilities riddle me, middle seat.